Hello everybody and welcome to the video, my name is Midway and today I bring you some new stuff with AFK Journey just coming out today. It's a new idol RPG game that's based off of AFK Arena, if you haven't played it before. It's a pretty damn good game and it's full and packed with a bunch of systems. But all in all, it is an idol RPG, it is a gacha, it is a good old battler where you will have a lot of choices to be made, a lot of characters to collect, a lot of new features as well. But it's basically has a big overhaul on the graphics. A lot of the systems are uh, just in place as they were before in the AFK Arena, but the game just looks stunning, right? So here we go, a gacha pool of a new character. There is new characters as well as old characters from AFK Arena. There's an open world where really not that much of an open world, but it's more of a you can just travel around a little bit like in Genshin Impact. You can te uh, teleport around the map quite freely um, there's a story to be followed and there's treasures to be collected there's uh, secrets to be discovered secret paths and fights you can reach the leveling looks pretty damn cool as well fights got a lot of strategy to them there will be certain different scenarios and uh, things to consider for example in this fight there is some barrels we can explode to deal some aoe damage to the enemies there is going to be other types of fights where there will be other obstacles to also consider which will affect how we approach each fight there is of course uh, upgrade systems like gear to characters if you play the fk arena as well this is going to be pretty pretty uh, pretty cool and pretty much just as it used to be before a lot of different progression paths that you can combine to be stronger and stronger the uh, fights themselves uh, they are kind of just like they were back in fk arena although with a uh, different top down view sort of 3d instead of 2d there's a lot of pretty cool animations to the um, the attacks of your characters you can also choose to just automate everything uh, all the attacks and such you can speed them up but you can also use them manually if you really want to do so there's the map where you can just tp around so um, it's a bit of like a genshin impact really kind of reminds me of it um, especially because of the look of the game, it, it kind of looks like a Genshin Impact type of game, that, that MiHoYo type of game with all those cool anime style uh, graphics and such, and the characters just also looks stunning. Here's another type of uh, obstacle in the map where you had those walls you had to try, try to navigate around. Of course, there's going to be stuff to do daily, a lot of menus to navigate through. It's uh, that kind of mobile game where you will just have a bunch of progression paths, as I already mentioned. You will have your daily rewards, you will have achievements to do um, placement of your characters is really damn important for example in this example where we have a um, this wall on one side if we put all our characters on the side we want then we can direct where they're gonna be facing of course this will be affected by whether or not the character can shoot from a range uh, can they teleport or jump around how far can they reach what type of abilities they have and so on and so forth so yep there is also gathering in the game around the map I'm not sure if these uh, gathering uh, nodes or whatever you can call them the fruits they'll respawn over time so you can travel around and try to gather resources to sell or use to craft there's some of sort of interaction in the world with placing some messages for uh, just like in dark souls when people pass around that they can leave those marks in the ground uh, but the game does look stunning they there is auto pathing by the way for the main quests so here we are reaching uh, main city and as you could see well we was just traveling around automatically now the leveling system in th this game is uh, sort of like in afk arena once you reach that statue i, I forgot the name of it uh, you will uh, the level of all your characters will be determined the base off of the lowest level of the main five characters that you have um, so you are encouraged to always keep up leveling all the characters evenly but you don't have to level them up all individually you only have to level up those five and then everything else will follow suit so you can interchange your characters there will also be dialogue options and rpg elements to it the story um, there there will be uh, random npcs in the world where you can just talk to them and then figure more out about the story there is a system that i discovered as soon as i got to the main city which is the artifacts 
um, just like in AFK Arena, just uh, as well like that. After a little while in combat, this artifact will charge and will have uh, some effects. So uh, you, do, you have some of them, as you could already see them, about six of them that you could choose from. And that effect, of course, will uh, come with some extra stats. And over time, the effect will uh, increase. Now, the main system, of course, is going to be AFKing. It's an other RPG. So as you grow stronger, you are able to challenge an AFK challenge. It's just a fight AFK stage one. And once you beat it, you increase your AFK rewards, right? So you will have your main quests. You will have your gathering around the world, uh, traveling around, figuring out secrets. But also, of course, the AFK part, as well as, of course, just beat this stage and get rewards and increase your AFK rewards. There will be dungeons, I'm sure of. I still haven't reached them, of course. Just really kind of started the game as well. And as you can see here, there's also pretty uh, decent customization. You have some outfits you can unlock. I unlocked uh, this one from uh, pre-signing to the pre-registration event. So I got it on the mail. Um, there's uh, pretty decent combinations as everything looks pretty, quite good for a mobile game, really. And the menus also flow pretty seamlessly. Um, we unlock the title right there. There's the uh, typical avatar frames and such to personalize your own uh, user within the game right uh, that's your display so yeah navigating the world is pretty damn cool you got this uh, little uh, just uh, tap uh, typical tap and drag just to move around so movement is pretty fluid then there will also be other players within the game which you can uh, get close to interact to figure out some information about them right so yeah the game as a whole looks pretty damn good navigating the map with the waystones is pretty damn easy there um, i'm sure there will be a pretty big amount of content there's more areas to unlock as you progress through them and challenge uh, different fights uh, you will see in a couple seconds here there's also going to be these arrows here showing what enemy each of your uh, characters is going to be focusing as well as which of your characters is being focused by the enemies so that way you can kind of strategize around but there we go you unlock a new area and you got more stuff to get into and a lot of rpg elements to it right so yeah the game really does look stunning i really really like it so far i think it's going to be pretty damn nice to double into it and do some guides for it and just really uh, play a lot of it. I really enjoy FK Arena once I uh, back when I once uh, played for a long time and I'm sure this game will follow suit nicely in my repertoire of games that I do play in my phone, right? So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that and you'll like and subscribe and see you in the next videos. I'll of course be following up with a bunch of guides and such and yeah, check out my socials and all that down in the comment section. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.